What's up, Blockheads? Welcome to the garage. Today we are working on Goldzilla. So the uh, Softail Lowrider S here. And we are going to be putting some crash protection on her because uh, with the 131 Stage 4 plus the SNS 590 cam, other SNS components, new tuner, it scares me. And I don't want to drop it and ruin it. So crash protection is. Joining me in the garage today, we've got Dynanator, Sleazy5000, Aaron, and <laughs> So yeah, since we are working with limited space here, we have this a new product in from this company called Let's Roll. We're going to unbox this. Essentially, we should be able to put it under the bike on four like caster wheels and we'll be able to move it around, position it however we want. Should make it easier to work on. As per the blockhead garage rule, for some reason you guys don't let me use regular box openers since that one time I decided to use a Katana to open a box. Now I get in trouble if I use a regular box opener, so it's strictly forbidden. I'm gonna go ahead and let Aaron choose what box opener to get. So the most recent addition here is the uh, Reforged Skywalker lightsaber. That one's takes a good amount of skill, so I don't know if, which one you'd wanna use, but take your pick. I'll take the lightsaber. <laughs> I think this is still on fire, so we might need to put this out. Yeah, it's still <laughs> crackling. <laughs> we got a certificate of authenticity. It's legit. 100 shares. Stonks. 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 <laughs> to the moon. All right, guys, so we got uh, the riser parts platform on the higher setting. Caster's on, so the wheels are all on. Everything's tightened down. Rolls super smooth. It feels really quality. I mean, this is some pretty stout metal. It is not cheap. It feels like a really, really quality part. So if you guys are looking for an easy way to move your motorcycle around the garage, look at this. It's solid. Yeah, we're gonna throw this under the bike, lift it up pretty much where it stands, and then this will slide under it, lower it down, and pretty much move the bike around wherever we want. <laughs> good job let's roll impressive if you guys are interested in scooping that up link down in the description below so like i said we are installing this crash protection i chose to go with bunking so if you guys are interested in checking it out check out the link down in the description below it's a collaboration with get lowered so this episode brought to you guys in part by get lowered cycles as well as bunking. So the part of installing the front crash protection. So in order to do that, it mounts through foot controls here. So where the foot controls attached to the frame, which is hex, loosen them up, zip it up and zip it out. It's really impressive that you can just dive in head first and know almost exactly what you're doing. Almost exactly, but <laughs> definitely not exactly. <laughs> Figuring it out as we go along. Basically the brake reservoir plus this piece for the foot controls isn't actually part of the frame on the back. It's a piece that fits over the frame. So you're gonna loosen up the Torx bolt here. Then there's also a little cap right here. You see there fits. It's got just uh, threading under that. So we're gonna remove that. So we got this side prepped and ready. You just gotta get the other side done up as well. All right guys, other side of the bike. We're gonna remove the foot controls and then we're also gonna remove these two caps. So yeah, two caps, same as the other side. Remove those to access the threading. We're gonna match up with that and that. And two ones here there and there, or there and there. All right, now should line right up. Ready to lift and kind of start lining everything back up. So I'm gonna need an assist on that side. Hey, nice, it fits. Lined up perfect. We are gonna need to come back through and lock tight. All right, so we got everything over here. In, tighten down, spacers are in between the foot control bracket and the frame. Tight, tight, lock tighted, tight, 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 tight. Same on the other side. There it is. Should we do the back ones? Let's let's throw them, let's throw them out, see what they look like. Yeah? Yeah. All right, let's do the back ones. Yay, unpackaged. All right, let's see where these things go. So in order to install the rear bike guard. <laughs> That'd be an exhaust guard, right? Yeah, exhaust guard. Yeah. It's looking like we do have to remove the uh, passenger pegs. So if you don't have passenger pegs, you don't have to worry about this part. If you do have passenger pegs, uh, you basically remove the retention ring, uh, remove the clevis pin, 
and then the bracket here, and then there's a long bolt that keeps the uh, piece on there. So yeah, just do that same on the other side. Well guys, we have reached a stopping point because the Torx bits and the ends of these, you know, they set back pretty far and the uh, Torx bits that I have do not uh, reach that far back. The head of the bolt's there and the torque bit went to like there. So yeah. they were just like Barely so close. Not <laughs> Obviously not worth rounding them out because that makes way more of a job. So we'll just be patient. I guess we'll uh, just continue that job later. Two weeks later. All right, guys, it is a couple weeks later. That's how it goes sometimes. It's like you stop one job and do other stuff like that. We finished up the 1200. So we're getting back to finishing up the bunking install. We left off with not having the tools to finish up the job. So I ordered the uh, extended Torx bits. So we got those here. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the passenger pegs, put the bunking crash protection on. It is installed, did get hung up on this last bolt, had to loosen the exhaust, picked up one of these shorter hex. So finally got that bottom bolt in, top bolt, everything's Loctited both sides. That is the install for the uh, Bung King crash protection. So you've got crash protection on the front there, crash protection on the rear. I don't really want to lay the bike over. Yeah, if you guys look up online, I'm pretty sure there's pictures, we can show you one of a bike laying on its side with these things and it keeps it totally protected. So I have been riding around with this for a little bit. And one thing I have noticed is that whenever I am riding a bit more, you know, spiritedly and leaning over in the turns, that would be the first thing to scrape instead of like my peg. So I think I'm gonna look into some different ones that maybe are like higher up because they do have a couple different options. And uh, I think it's maybe just as wide but it goes more up here instead of down here. There was one turn that I was taking, which I was a little concerned. I was coming off of a highway and I was on a ramp that basically curved to the left. The ramp changed from regular road to like concrete because it was a bridge. Where that change was, the road, it wasn't level. The concrete was higher. It was a pretty big difference. I was leaning left and that, it was maybe about that far away from hitting that the concrete. And so that was kind of concerning because obviously if it were to catch that, it would really like hit the bike back. Cause I mean, it's attached to the frame, pretty heartily attached to the frame. So that was definitely a concern, something that I will be looking into, uh, like I said, more than likely raising it up a bit, but that's the install for the bunking stuff. If you guys are interested in scooping anything up from them, be sure to go check out their website. You can also get their stuff through Get Lowered Cycles, which this episode was brought to you guys in part by Get Lowered Cycles and bunking. So thank you guys for the collaboration as always, really appreciate it. Also, big shout out to Let's Roll, the lift company here. Quality stuff there. If you guys are interested in scooping up any of that, be sure to go check them out. Tell them Blockhead sent you. Can't recommend that lift enough. It is just really, really super stout. You got the rolling part over here. It's just really quality made. They have like lifetime warranty, really great customer service made in the USA. So you guys be sure to check them out. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, I don't traditionally put crash protection on my bikes, but since we are making this thing an absolute beast. You know, it's got the stage four 131, the SNS 590 cam in it. And then we're also gonna be doing heads, larger injectors, larger throttle body, a different tune. It's just gonna be even scarier. And so I really don't want to, uh, you know, accidentally drop the bike because there has been a couple moments where I have messed up and then gotten back on throttle and it'll lift the front wheel. So we're also gonna be installing a uh, steering damper on it and a couple other things. So 
You guys stay tuned. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode on Goldzilla. If you have any questions, like I said, post them in the comments down below. Let me know. If you guys did enjoy this episode, be sure to hit that like button for me. Hitting that like button helps out the channel a lot. If anybody's looking for crash protection on their Harley and they're interested in bunking, if you hit that like button, it helps us with the YouTube algorithm and it helps to recommend this video, taking people through the installation process as well. If you guys aren't subscribed and you want to continue to see motorcycle content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button also. Hit that bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.